In this upcoming lesson, I'd like to show you how to use a feature called the fill handle. Now, typically people will just use the fill handle with things like formulas, and it's very applicable in that situation. We can also use the fill handle for labels, dates, and even to count numbers. So let me show you all the features found by using the fill handle. All right, so let me show you how to utilize the fill handle. I'm going to start by talking about filling labels. So I have a blank sheet here, and I'm simply going to type in chapter one. So any text followed by a number, we can utilize the fill handle to automatically increment that. What I mean by that is I've typed in chapter one. I'm going to then select the cell. Now in the bottom right hand corner of the selected cell, you'll notice there is a little black box. If you move your mouse over that little black box, your mouse becomes a dark plus sign, a filled in plus sign essentially, rather than the open white one. So once you have that darkened black plus sign, you are going to click and hold, and then you can drag in the direction that you'd like to fill. So I want chapter one, two, three, and four. So I'm just gonna drag across the top. You'll notice it's automatically doing a screen tip for me, telling me what it's gonna do. I've gotten to chapter four. I'm simply going to let go, and it automatically fills in that information for me. Now this was using a label, and this goes for anything. I could have typed in S1 and filled that across and it would have worked. So any label followed by any number will automatically increment. It actually gets even a little bit smarter when you do quarters. If I do Q1, of course I can't have five quarters, right? That wouldn't make any sense. So if you use the fill handle, as soon as I get to four, and I go, let's say, assuming it's gonna put in Q5, it actually resets itself, and it goes back to Q1, Q2, and so on. Other items we can use this for would be months. So if I type in Jan, or if I type in January, whatever it might be, and then I fill that going across or down, it automatically fills in the months for me. This will work for days of the week. So if I type in Monday, I click on that and fill that across. Well, you know what? Let's fill this one down in this case. So I fill this one down, and going down, it fills in the days of the week. So that was utilizing the fill handle with labels. And it works with a lot. We were just doing a couple examples here. Let me show you what it does with dates. So I'm going to go over to a, a sheet I've called fill dates here, and I have the current date. Well, if I take the current date and I fill that across, you'll notice that it automatically fills across one day at a time. So it increments it by one day. If I wanted to change that, maybe I don't want to do just one day at a time. Maybe I want to do uh, every second day. Well, what I need to do is I need to give it the pattern I would like to use. So I'm just going to delete these cells here, and I'm going to change this date. This date is not going to be the 16th. It is going to be the 17th. So I have here the 15th of September, and I have the 17th. If I select both the cells, now this is, this is key here. I don't just choose the one on the end and use the fill handle, or I don't just choose the first one and use the fill handle. I actually have to select them both. Okay, so make sure they're both selected. At that point, it knows how to increment. And so what you do is you would then use the fill handle, and as you fill across, you'll notice that the dates are now incrementing by two days. So you can put in whatever increment you want. You could do the first of every month, you could do a seven day increment, however you'd like to set it up. This same rule applies to numbers. If I put in the number one, and I click on it, and I fill that across, it's actually just going to put in the number one over and over and over again which is maybe not what I wanted. I was hoping it would do one, two, three, four, five. So to do that, again, I need to give it the increment that I'd like to count on. So in the first cell, I'm gonna put in the number one. In the second cell, I'm gonna put in the number two. And then I'm gonna make sure I select them. I'm gonna select both the cells, not using the fill handle right away. Then I'm gonna utilize the fill handle, and as I drag across, it will count by that increment. And of course, we can give it any increment we want. I'm gonna do a quick example here, zero, five fill that across, and notice it's counting by fives. The last thing I want to show you is using the fill handle with functions. So here I have another sheet called fill functions, and I have a couple of functions here. So in this first one, I have a sum function that's simply adding up this cell to this cell, and it's putting my total here, which is essentially what I want to do for the next row and the next row and the next row and the next row, and the computer can anticipate that. So this formula in the next cell would look exactly the same except it would be B6 to E6. So utilizing that fill handle, it's going to do that for me. I'm gonna click on the first function that I put in. I'm gonna utilize that fill handle. I'm just gonna drag it down. 
And you'll notice that if I go to any of these and you look at the formula here up in the formula bar, it's automatically adjusted them for me and put in the corresponding row numbers. I could use this on complex functions. Here I have a VLOOKUP function. It's referencing certain cells. Again, I'm going to use that fill handle, fill that down, and everything works perfectly for me. So utilize that fill handle with labels, dates, numbers, formulas. You can use it in any of those situations. It can save you a lot of time. So when using that fill handle to count or increment numbers or dates, remember we have to tell it what we want to count by. For example, if I wanted the fill handle to fill 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on, I would need to put number 1 in one cell, and then either the cell below it or the cell next to it, I need to put the number 2, and then I would need to ensure that I selected both of those cells and then use the fill handle so that Excel knows how I want to increment those numbers or dates.